Hi, I just wanted to make this video and give some help and advice really if you've come across the same problem I have with radiators. With mine, they were working upstairs but not downstairs. So I've got an upstairs radiator here and as soon as I turned on my central heating, mine's actually oil, radiators would work upstairs as I've said but not downstairs. Any radiator downstairs whatsoever, whether it be in the living room, the dining room or the hallway, there was no way we were getting anything from any of the radiators downstairs. Now thankfully I found that my problem was here in the airing cupboard and it was the pump there. So let me just show you how I corrected it and made everything work upstairs and downstairs. Now the water heater was working enough to keep the radiators hot upstairs but because this pump wasn't working it wasn't pumping all of that heat downstairs. So it wasn't circulating all of the heat throughout the whole of the house. But if, like me, you have this problem, then there's a very quick fix. So there's no need to call out the plumber and spend many hundred. Now I'll show you exactly what I did. But before we work on this, please make sure everything's turned off so there's no electricity going to this pump, so the pump isn't working. Now, I undid this screw here, but before I do, you'll see that there will be some water that pours down slightly here but not too much. Now it turns that way, it's an arrow there so it turns that way and inside there you'll see the veins, it's like a like a turbine, like an impeller and it turns this way and what happens with these they can get stuck particularly if you haven't used your central heating for a little while or the pumps getting a little old them impellers in there can get stuck and all I've done is I've undone this so I'll show you now turn anti-clockwise you can see there's some water coming down there. I'll just tilt that slightly. There you go. Now you see how that's come out now? There. That's the plug. Just remember with this plug that there is a seal just there. So like a rubber seal, like a rubber o-ring and sometimes it can pop off. So be, be mindful of that. Just be careful of that. So put that to one side. And if we have a look up there you can see there that if you put a flat screwdriver in there you could turn there, you could turn inside. That's the actual impeller itself. So we'll get our screwdriver in there and we'll turn that now. That's in. And just turn that impeller one way and the other. There, that's nice and loose now. So basically all I've done is just freed it up. And that looks okay. Right, so let's get this cap back on. Just making sure that the O ring's all in place. Okay. And we'll wind it back on clockwise. And make sure it's nice and tight. Yep, nice and tight. Okay. And we'll turn it on. I can hear the pump now working. Can you hear that? That is a working pump. And now, the water will travel now all the way through the pipes. It will warm the top half of the house. And because the pump's working, it will pump it around the bottom half of the house. So, Hopefully that will get you going. Thanks very much. Bye.